Oh, hey, that's Rob. I'm uh, and the dogs. <laughs> I'm uh, I'm recording this early because uh, the next couple weeks are going to be absolutely insane. Um, by the time you see this, I will already be back in Minneapolis. Um, right now, it's about my moving date is about a week away, and I'm trying to not freak out about all the stuff. Um, <clears throat> October 8th will mark the two-year date of my being here as my permanent resident. I moved up here in on October 8th because that was the date that uh, I moved up to try and take care of mom. I thought it was going to be for a weekend. Turned out to be a lot longer than a weekend. Um, but I've had this place here um, the basement apartment as my home for, for two years and now I'm moving back to my home that's my real home it's well, it's yeah it's the place where I live in Minneapolis so um, it's a little strange because uh, I have family here now and we've gotten to know each other pretty well and it's a really good it's a really good combination so it's not like i'm going to be uh going away from here and that's a uh, that's another long-term thing that i need to figure out mostly my mind is trying to well, i've got two critical projects at work that are behind schedule and need to be finished before the end of the month, which is right when I'm moving. Uh, there's that, and I'm trying to figure out what I need to bring back, how much I can bring back on the trailer, um, how I'm going to pack some of it, um, what I can leave here, what I can't, and it's a lot of logistics that is taking up um, chunky space in my brain. The apples are still coming down, um, but it's also the end of life for hornets season. And uh, something, I don't know if this is actually true, but um, I have heard that um, when it gets to the end of their life, you know, it gets to the, the time when fall is here and all the, all the little buggies have, you know, been born and are you know, out flying and doing their jobs and the queen is safe, resting safely in, in the hive, that the uh, workers no longer have a job to do. So they go about finding fruit and getting into the fruit. And as they eat it, it ferments and they essentially get drunk. So they're out having a, having a toot of a time. But I don't know if you can see in there, it looks like they've gotten to a number of the apples that were that are also you know always on the uh, still on the branches those big brown spots um, so I don't know if I'm going to try and knock some of these down and collect them because there are a lot of apples uh, but I've at least tried to manage to lure them away by so taking the detritus from the apple cores and uh, popping them over here and you can see, yep, there's still, there's a lot of activity from those little puppies. But if they're over here, and they're, you know, hiving around, getting drunk, and having a roaring old time, they're not going to be bothering us. Which is what I would really like. I think they're fine, as long as they don't, you know, come around, sting me, get into my head. Uh, they are more than welcome to go around. They do act as pollinators, and we need more pollinators. So... We'll see how this goes. This might end up getting ransacked by uh, other critters too. There's a lot I'm going to miss about being here. Uh, but I will tell you that the winter is not part of what I'm going to miss. Um, I've been through two brutal winters here and I don't want to go through another one. So I put a, put a time on going back home, because I need to go back home. I need to have my life down in the cities. 
But now I also have a life here and things to do here and even kind of a place to do them, turning the shed into a workshop. <sighs> so it looks like what I'm going to be doing, at least on a trial run, you know, life has a way of making plans <laughs> that you make completely obsolete. Uh, I think I'm going to try staying down in the winter, coming up here in the summer. Don't have hard dates yet. Don't have everything planned. I mean, when do I ever plan things? And ultimately it's going to be a... we'll try it and see. But this is a beautiful place to be in the, in the summer. It's very nice. It's very peaceful. Uh, the people have been amazing. Um, yeah, it's a... I don't know. It's a weird situation. And I'm fretting about all the moving stuff and what it means. And I don't know. So, that's kind of where my head is at. Um, I don't know if that's all that interesting, but uh, I wanted to make this a little bit more than just a, hey, I don't have a video for this week, and kind of let you know where, where my mind is going. Um, I'm just completely socked right now, um, trying to find time to do all the things that I need to do. Some of the things that I wanted to do, I'm having to hold off, like the tent. I'm not going to get to the tent before I go back home. That's a uh, sore point in my uh, desire to get things done. But, you know, I am not as capable as I thought I am. Or my, uh, my plans are bigger than my stomach. Something like that. Anyway, the dogs want me to pay attention to them. So, I'm going to go pay attention to my dogs. And I'll see you next week. Or you'll see me next week. Something like that, anyway. I'm coming in. I'm coming in. No, I'm coming in. Somebody wants to... Somebody wants to play. Somebody wants to play. And go get a log from the wood pile. <laughs> yep, here we go. That is now the one the one true stick. 